The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. After some of the quarantine and things we had to go through, it just means a lot. It means a lot. We wanted to get a win, but with everything we went through, first tournament win, this is awesome. Catawba hadn't won a national tournament game in 28 years. Huh. And all of a sudden, this program, 23 wins uh, a year ago, and now an NCAA tournament win. Uh, to pull that off in a year like this, I think you said yesterday you were shut down for 52 total days. Mm -hmm. How do you sum up what this season has been like and this roller coaster has been like for you? I mean, challenging. Very challenging. I told the girls all year long that um, I was trying to find a way to make a positive out of the quarantining. So I said, maybe this is us getting mental. I was talking about mental fortitude, being able to go through something and bounce back. So um, the fact that we was able to, you know, I got a good, good leadership on the team and the fact that we was able to just bounce back and keep coming out of quarantine just was amazing for us. And um, I just, I'm glad the girls got the win because they deserve it. Jamal, let me come to you. Um, defensively, your team's great and, and have been really all year, but you personally, shut down the conference's player of the year to her worst scoring output this year. Uh, what can you describe about how you were able to defend her? What did you do to frustrate her this evening? Um, well, we just worked on it in practice. Uh, like, just trying to like make her feel uncomfortable. Um, and then, uh, like, defense is all about heart. And I love defense, so I was going to take pride in doing it. So I was pretty excited when my coach told me that I had her to start the game off. So um, I was, I was just, just ready, just motivated, just motivated to go out her. And I knew she was player of the year, which was even more motivation. Um, so we knew that if we shut her down, that we could have a better possibility of winning the game. Similar question to that, Kirsten Newman's offense uh, was ninth in the country in scoring. And they had scored this few points in four or five years and never in this gym. Um, why were you guys able to frustrate Carson Newman's offense pretty much the entire night because there was really no time where it felt like they were really going to go on a big run. Um, well, tonight I felt like the whole team was on the same page. Um, like everybody came ready to play. Everybody, you know, our coach prepared us well for it. Um, so, like the difference between tonight and all the other games is like we was just we were just mentally ready and prepared. Like we knew what we had to do to win this game, and we went out and did it. Coach, we talked yesterday a little bit about where your team's at, where the program's at, and what your what your goal is, what your vision is mm -hmm. um, for this program. That you like to run a lot of different players out there. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of contributions tonight. What can you say about the depth of your overall roster's performances in a 19-point win? That's that's part of our strength. I've been preaching to the girls all all year that depth is our friend. And um, early on, I had to try to you know you have a team full of good players and everybody want to kind of stay on the floor, so it's hard to sell playing 20 minutes and coming out. But once they saw that it works for us and we can win and we can beat teams in this kind of fashion because we can be, we can stay energetic by subbing in and out. And they bought into it. And um, I just think that that's part of why we can win is in this style. How much of that plays into playing through foul throw mm -hmm. that Yeah, the percent, <laughs> we play, we're up in your face. So we're going to get some fouls called on us and we understand that. And I'm always, you might hear me barking on the sidelines, show your hands, show your hands to try to balance out, you know, that we're all up in their face. But um, we will get in foul trouble sometime and, and our depth is there. So that helps us as well. Shamaya, let me ask you this. Uh, you play Barton tomorrow night. Um, Barton's had to sit around. They've had to kind of hang out. How important is it for you guys to be able to get this game under your belt and now kind of play a little more freely tomorrow knowing that, knowing what to expect in a tournament atmosphere? Um, well, I mean, tonight was a great win, but, you know, we got to, you know, we can enjoy it for the night, but we got to let it go and get ready for tomorrow because it's a, it's a whole new day. Um, but it was good that we uh, had the chance to get up and down the floor and stuff like that. Um, so I think that'll help us going into tomorrow. But we can't um, uh, th think about this win too much. Coach, uh, my last question for you is, you get Barton tomorrow evening. Uh, they have a two-time conference player of the year and a four-time conference defensive player of the year, Shanika Peterkin. Great shot blocker in her own right, but a great team on their side. What do you try to do over the next, I guess, what is it, 22 hours or so to get ready for Barton Bulldogs? I go watch some film and um, get more in tune with what, they, what they're trying to do offensively and um, put together a game plan defensively and see how we can go. I know they have good post play. Uh, they're long down low and can play defense. So. Um, we're going to go in and watch and, and see what kind of game plan we could put together.